Ukraine's defense forces continue to inflict losses on Russia, causing the Russians to lose 1,250 soldiers, 50 artillery systems, 40 armored combat vehicles and 21 tanks over the past day alone, General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported this. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reports in a morning briefing that 86 combat engagements took place at the front over the past day. The military notes that the Russian invaders were putting pressure on two directions in the Donetsk region. Russian occupiers once again attacked Ukraine using Shahid UAVs. Preliminary information indicates that the defense forces of Ukraine destroyed 38 out of 42 of these drones. Information on casualties and damage to infrastructure is being established, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine said. Over the past 24 hours, the following settlements were hit by airstrikes, Kislevka and Mitrofanivka of Kharkiv Oblast, Novoyharivka of Luhansk Oblast, Terny, Chesevyar, Bodenivka, Kurdyumivka, Druzba, Semenivka and Bolodar of Donetsk Oblast, and Melanivka and Molotokmachka of Zaporizhia Oblast, more than 140 settlements in Chernihiv, Sumy, Kharkiv, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia, Dnipropetrovsk, Kherson and Mykolaiv Oblasts came under artillery fire. Putin ally says neighboring country will not exist in five years. Kremlin propagandist Margarita Simonyan has said Armenia's spat with Russia over a Moscow-led security bloc could see the South Caucasus country no longer exist within a half a decade, according to Newsweek. The editor-in-chief of the Kremlin mouthpiece, RT, is an ally of Vladimir Putin and a regular guest on state television where she pushes the Russian leader's rhetoric about his full-scale invasion of Ukraine. During the World Youth Festival in Sirius, in Russia's Krasnodar region, Simonyan criticized Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. He has suspended Yerevan's participation in the Collective Security Treaty Organization, which is considered Russia's equivalent to NATO. Last month, Pashinyan said that the CSTO had failed Armenia, freezing its participation in the bloc because Russia could no longer be relied upon as a reliable defense partner. However, there are no formal moves from Yerevan to withdraw from the alliance. Armenia's youth must understand that Pashinyan is a traitor to the Armenian people and is leading Armenia to complete destruction if he remains in power, said Simonyan to applause from the audience. Simonyan, who is of Armenian descent and has described herself as both Russian and Armenian, said that if voters continue to support Pashinyan, there will be no Armenia in five years, Simonyan said. Armenia will not exist at all. You will see. Pentagon warns Russian drones may fly to Europe. Russia could have stripped Ukraine of its independence in 2022 and sent drones from its territory to Europe. Assistance to Kyiv from the United States thwarted this, according to Celeste Volander, Deputy Secretary of Defense for International Security Affairs. Volander said that those UAVs that the Russians are sending from Crimea over Ukrainian cities could have attacked European capitals. The cruise missiles that the Russians use against Ukraine's critically important energy infrastructure would have threatened US allies in NATO. According to her, Americans in Europe, from military personnel, businessmen and ordinary citizens to American students studying in Europe, would have been in danger. All of this was prevented by American support for Ukraine and, above all, the courage and skills of the Ukrainians, Volander emphasized. And the threat to Europe is still relevant in light of delays in the US Congress vote on aid to Ukraine, Volander said. Volanda said that Ukrainians have learned to fight and are holding back the Russians, disrupting their operations in the Black Sea and have resumed grain exports, providing the Global South with what it needs. But since there's not enough ammunition, air defense systems, spare parts needed on the front lines, it could very well return to the scenario of 2022 and the threat of shelling Europe. She reported that the United States ranks 16th in the world in terms of the ratio of GDP to aid provided to Ukraine. Putin's operation left German Chancellor Scholz in a stupid position. The spread of talks among the German military about possible strikes on the Crimean bridgehead has undermined German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's position and highlighted the superiority of Russian President Vladimir Putin. 
This was written by Matthew Karnichnig, a commentator for the Politico publication. After all these years as the leader of Russia, Putin is still an intelligence officer. There is no great joy in beating Russia's rivals. Putin's masterful operation left Scholz in a stupid position, said Karnitschnig. Fears are rising among intelligence experts that the German military leaks are just the tip of the iceberg as they warn that NATO secrets may have been compromised. The leak could have been just the tip of the iceberg, August Hanning, Berlin's former intelligence chief, told German tabloid Bild. The intelligence expert added that he assumes the Russians could have listened in on even more than 38-minute conversations between high-ranking German military officers, even more than the 38-minute conversation between high-ranking German military officers. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz was being used by Russia as a useful idiot after the country has identified Germany as the weakest link, according to sources quoted by The Telegraph. The German government vehemently rejected allegations that Russia's leak of a conversation by high-ranking German military officers was an indication that Berlin was preparing for war against Russia. At the same time, the government sought to contain the domestic fallout from the leak and promised a quick investigation into how a conversation by top German military personnel could be intercepted and published. It is absolutely clear that such claims that this conversation would prove that Germany is preparing a war against Russia, that this is absurdly infamous Russian propaganda, a spokesman for Scholz told reporters in Berlin.